everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Project Tango at Google I.O. I have Johnny Lee here who's in charge of the whole thing, and he's going to show us some, some cool stuff that Project Tango can do. And we're also mirroring on a bigger screen here as well, so I'm going to go to both. Um, so one of the core components of Project Tango is the 3D tracking technology that we've built in. So we have specialized hardware and software to recover the motion of the device. Um, so if you look at the big screen, if I move the tablet to the left and right, or rotate it, you can see this top-down view which represents the position, the orientation of the device. But if I move in a big circle, like this, you can see it's also tracking that. Uh, and if I walk over here, or walk over here, you can see all of that motion is being tracked in real time. Yep. Um, so what we can do is use that information inside of a game. Um, this is a very simple prototype game that we create called Cube Mover that uses that tracking information to control a virtual camera. So it's a very simple game where I just have to match the color of the block to the switch. But to actually play the game, I actually have to move around. So if I walk forward, I get to the switch here. Uh, and to actually pick up this green one, you know, I actually have to walk all the way over there. So what this does is it starts to introduce motion into mobile gaming. So if I move one meter in the real world, it moves one meter in the virtual space. Um, so these are just some very simple concepts that you can explore with this hardware, and we're going to make the developer kits available later this year. Do you, have, do you have a transformer, the transformer app I saw and somebody else is um, in that one? Yeah, we can try to do that. Now, how many cameras uh, are on the on there for this? Um, so what we have is... Well, that's uh, loading. I know it takes a little bit of time to load. This one takes some asset time yeah. to load. So uh, we have uh, multiple cameras on the back. One is we have our motion tracking camera, which uh, gives us the pose. And then we have additional cameras for doing the 3D sensing. Okay. Um, when we put all those together, we are able to generate uh, a single... <laughs> a, a single estimate of the uh, both the position of the device and geometry in the environment. And this will sense, uh, you know, any environment you're in, uh, the three uh, get a three D uh, map mapping of it. And of course, right now we're not able to do it in real time because of the uh, situation that we're in. So these are demos that you're showing. Yeah, uh, being a computer vision system is actually kind of challenging. Uh, I think it's because I have the app in the background running. So apologies. That's okay. Uh, uh, the having so many people walk around the space is actually very I hard know. for the vision system to work on. But we can do some of the demos here. But yes, we would be able to as long as we have lights in the space. Uh, yep. Just like a human can sort of walk through an environment, these devices can have the ability to sort of explore that as well. Now, this tablet, uh, this is a developer tablet. Is this available now, um, um, or is it becoming available? I forget. Uh, we'll make them available later this year. Yeah, okay. Um, so uh, Google I/O attendees can sign up to get on the wait list, and uh, essentially we will announce it once they're ready to ship. Um, so this is a, a, an app developed by a partner, uh, Hasbro, and uh, to promote the new Transformers movie coming yep. out. And so what they've done basically is they've modeled the Moscone Center mm -hmm. and put it in the, uh, the device, and you can actually watch sort of a, a, a quick experience with Optimus Look Around. And and if we look in this direction, uh, we can kind of see the models aligned with the structure of the building. Yeah. And, and just a minute, oh, there's a screen lock. Uh, there's Optimus Prime. Huh, nice. So, I mean, you'll be able to play augmented reality games in your house. I mean, it'd be just amazing right. things that you can do with this. <laughs> right, so we're still continuing to evolve the technology so you'll be able to uh, register register robustly against an environment that you've been in before, and you can start placing characters and virtual objects in the space. Um, well, we're looking forward to seeing more of uh, Project Tango. Thanks a lot, Johnny. Right. Really, really appreciate it. Bye.